Welcome out to another episode of It's All Been Done Radio Hour. This is the first of two of our Confest sketches. Confest was actually performed after our June show, so in a way, this is out of order. However, this story takes place before the June universe journey, so that's why we're releasing this episode here. It kind of breaks up our momentum of releasing all of these in performance order, but it should be the only one that's released out of order with our other Confest segment being held till after we release the June show, since it takes place after that. Uh, before we begin, we need to thank Circle 270 Media, who this podcast is a part of. We want to thank Mad Lab Theater, our wonderful host site, Theater Roulette, is about to happen there. It's their annual shorts festival. It's three different rotating nights over three weekends, culminating in Mad Lab Christmas, where you can see all three shows on one day. That's really cool. One of the days of the festival, Saturday, May 11th, you'll be able to see IABD Roulette before that night's theater roulette. It's gonna be a very special show uh, of shorts set in the IABD universe with IABD characters, but uh, written by different people. It's not, won't well, feel so homogeneous. They're different lengths. They're shorter than the average segment, longer than a commercial. No commercials in that show, and there's 10 of them. And it's still going to be about 80 minutes long. Uh, it should be a really neat, different experience for It's All Been Done Radio Hour. Haven't decided how we're releasing in the podcast feed yet, since that, that will definitely be a different type of schedule. Anyway, now uh, we want you to enjoy this episode from Confest. This is Universe Journey. It's 2427, and the Starship ASS Thrifty boldly goes where a few people have gone before. The crew is led by Captain Richard C. Kake. I am in charge. Among the crew are the not evil science officer, Lieutenant Commander Meow Meow, <laughs> and the android pilot, Noom. I do not yet have a witty catchphrase or specific sound for this introduction. Very good. Theme song! Space! I am in you! Captain Kake and Lieutenant Commander Meow Meow are on a brief leave, awaiting their next orders. Ah, the fresh air. The solid ground. It's nice to be back on my home world again. I do not understand your sentiments as I do not care for my home world. Magdalena, what are you doing here? On Earth? Well, as you are aware, the Thrifty is currently docked in orbit. Yes, yes, I know that. I mean, what are you doing here in Buffalo with me? I want to see where you grow up, Captain Kake. Oh, no, 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 no. Go away. Go back to the ship or something. I do not have currently any duties on the ship to attend to, and will not until we get underway again. But come on, you can bug anyone. Why would you choose me? You are my commanding officer. You've saved my life and cleared my name when I was falsely accused of crimes. Does it not make sense that I would seek to understand you better? But, but, but I hate you. I, I've made that very clear on so, so many occasions. Mm, well, all the more reason to seek better understanding of you so that I can correct that unfortunate circumstance. It's not an unfortunate circumstance. You killed the woman I love. Oh, you're still upset about Jane? That was more than a year ago. Yes! Yes, it takes me more than a year to get over murder. Well, technically you are correct to label my act a murder. 
You are aware I did to save the lives of trillions of people. Tr- it doesn't matter. Yes, it does. No, it doesn't. Yes, it does. But, wh- whatever. I don't like you, and this is my home, so you need to go somewhere else. Hmm. I apologize, Captain Kake, but I must point out that both ASS and Earth Law allow me the freedom to go wherever I would like to on public property, as this sidewalk is. And additionally... Since we are both on leave and my actions have nothing to do with starship operations, you have no power over me. And it doesn't bother you at all that I don't want you here? It most certainly does, which, as I have stated, is the reason I am presently at this location. Do you, you are so frustrating. Agree to disagree. All right, fine. You know what? Stay in town. Nothing I can do about it, but it's a big city. I don't want to see you, I don't want to hear you, and I most certainly don't want to smell you. Am I emitting an odor other than my natural pheromones? I I don't know, but I don't want you close enough to me to find out. That did not go as you had hoped. (sighs) No, but it did go as expected. A short time later, at a local bar... One trillion thumb blaster, please. Oh, I'll be dead. Stick croquet. Albert, Albert Malone, it's been like a really, really long time. You thought it was okay to show your face here? Ah, yeah, you're not still sore about the unpaid bar tab, are you? What unpaid tab? You never paid for your own drinks. True. Then what is it? Well, I'm just getting your cup. <laughs> Good to see you again. Oh, you too. Now, uh, about that trillion thumb blaster. We don't serve anything that fancy. Earth drinks only, as you well know. Sorry, Malone, it's just been so long, but uh, I don't remember. I'm just giving you a guff again. Lighten up, Kake. (laughs) Yeah, of course. So, who's paying for your drinks tonight? Myself. I've got a Malone. Make it two. Coming right up. Laura Styers, as I live and breathe. Close your mouth, Dick, and stop pretending you didn't come back just to see me. I didn't. I mean, I didn't know you were still here, or I would have. Where'd you think I'd be? Not all of us go boarding across the galaxy. I know, but jeez, I'm very happy to see you. Well, I can tell. I still have that effect on you. Sorry, I should have worn the uniform pants instead of the skirt today. Oh, hey, I'm not complaining. I can still be the so... <laughs> all these years later. You look exactly the same. You don't. If anything, you've gotten better looking. Thanks. Commanding a star chief will do that for you. I heard you made, uh, made captain. Congratulations. Well, I mean, that was like three years ago, but, uh, you know, thank you. I learned to take a compliment. I would from anyone else, but you're the worst. <laughs> yeah, that never gets old. Yeah, old habits. Well, what other old habits have you still got? If you're talking about what I think you're talking about, all of them plus a whole lot of new moves. Care to show me? I live right upstairs. It would be my pleasure. Here your drinks. Wrap them up to go, Malone. We'll need to rehydrate soon enough. Oh, boy. Uh Uh-huh. At essentially the same time, back out on the street. Why does that captain not like me? Did he not say that it is because you murdered his girlfriend? Jane. Yes, but he did not like me before that. Correct. He has cleared your views on numerous occasions, and the murder of Jane likely confirmed that assertion in his eyes. Hence why I did not wish the captain to see me in your company in a social context. No, you know I had to do it. Based on the circumstances, it's not yourself, you to infer that you took the most logical action. Hmm. Can you explain that to him? No. Why not? I do not find the captain very logical. Well, what do I do? How do I get him to like me? Working. I have considered 3,026,007 possibilities, but none are likely to produce the desired outcome. Well, that is not helpful. Oh, I apologize. Did you desire me to be helpful? Yes. That's why I brought you to this little buffalo. Oh, I thought it was because you valued my friendship. Yes, that too. Although it is pretty hard to value you when you do not wish to be seen with me. 
I do not mind being seen in your presence, as long as it is work-related or we are being seen only by people who are not crew members of the Thrifty Union. Ah, well, that's so much better. <laughs> Captain Kake is from here. Perhaps I should get to know others in this locale who are more important to him. They may be able to, as the humans say, vouch for me with the captain. Befriending one of Captain Kake's friends or family members was one of the 3,026,007 possibilities that I considered. Well, do you have a better idea? No. All right, then. Captain Kake entered that establishment several minutes ago. That seems as good a place as any to start. Does it? Yes. A few minutes later, in the bar that Captain Kake just went up here... Oh, strangers! Where can I get you? Do you know Captain Kake? Dick. What? His friends call him Dick. Oh, yes. Do you know Dick Kake? Who wants to know? I do. Yeah, but who are you? I am Lieutenant Commander Meow Meow, science officer of the ASS Thrifty. All right, and who are you? I am... no one. No one, huh? Another girl Dick screwed around on, huh? That depends. Are you friends with Dick? What does your answer depend on that? Because if you are friends with Dick, I would rather you believe I am a tortured lover than someone who spends time socially with Lieutenant Commander Meow Meow. However, if you are not friends, then I do not mind telling you who I am. Uh. <laughs> I like you. I like you. I'm not so sure about this guy, but I like you. Thank you. You do not know me. How would you know whether you like me or not? You sound evil. Mm, that's perfectly normal for my species. Then I guess I'm a tad prejudiced. Yes, you are. So you are friends with Dick? I know him. Are you looking for him? No. No? I am seeking insight as to how Cap... Uh, Dick to get him to like me. <laughs> wow! Now I've heard everything. That claim seems statistically unlikely. Why doesn't Dick like you? Meow Meow murdered Dick's girlfriend. <laughs> you did what? Give me one good reason why I shouldn't call the cops right now. I did it to save trillions of lives. Additionally, the authorities already know and have found no fault in Meow Meow's actions. To save trillions? Yes. Suffice it to say, it was for the good of the many. And uh, Dick knows you did this? Hmm. Well, I believe so, considering that he witnessed the act. Does he know why you did it? Yes. And he still hates you? Yes. Yeah, see, thank you. Whew, a tough break. Uh, but you gotta know, with, with Dick, girls are just a port to stop at. It they don't mean anything. I'm sure he'll get over it soon enough. It has been over a year. Really? And he's still bothered by it? Oh, he loved Jane very much. Very much. Mm. Oh, well then, I, I guess I don't know Dick very well at all. Well, what can I get you to drink? Uh, one moment, please. Does anyone here know Dick Cocky? No! We will not be requiring a beverage, thank you. Meanwhile, upstairs. Whew. Well, I guess you're not the worst. <laughs> you're not so bad yourself. I'm not, am I? You weren't kidding about learning some new tricks. Thank you. Feel free to use them whenever you like. <laughs> so, what brings you back to Buffalo? I had a couple of days off, and I figured, why not here? Sure, but why here? I mean, your mom moved away, and your dad, well, you know... You don't have family here. Uh, I consider all of Buffalo my family. Dick, you don't need to use those cheesy lines on me. Sorry, I don't know why I'm here, honestly. Things are going well, very well. I figured out this captain thing. My crew loves me. I guess I just wanted to see if this city looked any different to me now. And does it? Well, I haven't made it much further than this bar, so I'm not sure. Dick, are you happy? Of course. Didn't you just hear what I said? Yeah, but you never settled down with anyone. Isn't sleeping around getting old? Hey, how do you know I haven't settled down? <laughs> You're in my bed, aren't you? I feel like that says as much about you as it does me. Nah, I've got my guy. Oh, wow, this probably wasn't a good idea then. <laughs> Relax, you're my free pass. All right, I mean, of, of course I am. <laughs> but how about you? All of those stars, all of those women you've met, none of them have done it for you? There have been a couple. Uh, but it, it didn't work out. I'm sorry. <sighs> my life is my ship. <laughs> what would you do if you weren't a captain of a starship? 
I oh, I honestly have no idea. This this is what I always wanted. Well, then I'm glad you found it. Me too, and I'm found, glad you found me today. Me too. I always wondered what it would be like to sleep with Dick Kake. Why didn't you? Sleep with you? You never asked. Oh, but it was definitely implied. <laughs> well, I guess I was just waiting my turn. Do you want another turn? <laughs> Sure, I've got time to kill. Oh, he wound me. Well, what was I supposed to say? How about absolutely, Dick? Please, please, please rock my world again like no one ever has, Dick. <laughs> oh, get over here. The hill? What? What was that? Loud noise. Take your hands off my wife! Uh, Malone? Al, you said it was okay! That was when I thought I was incapable of falling in love. Okay, wait, wait. You two are... Yes. Yes, us two, and you're not coming between us. Uh, it's okay, Malone. I don't love your wife. Hey! You better not. Later that night. <sighs> Where shall we go next, New? We have stopped at literally every open establishment in this district. There does not appear to be anywhere else to go, other than back to the thrifty. Ah. Uh... But I am not any closer to the captain not hating me than I was this morning. We encountered several people that know Captain Kake. Was that not your mission? We encountered several people that knew the captain knew. None that actually seem to know him now. I do not understand. I admit, I did not realize that until this evening, but Captain Kake has changed a great deal in the past three years. Those we spoke with have not seen him in a much longer time than that. It was foolish to think that investigating the captain's past would help in the present. It does not seem foolish to me, Meow Meow. Thank you, Nyo. If only the captain felt the way that you did. Why is Captain Kake's approval so important to you? Excuse me? I asked, why is Captain Kake's approval so important to you? I heard the question. Then why did you ask I meant, why would you ask it? I do not understand the premise of this mission. He's my commanding officer. Yes, and? Are you improving now? Well, I like to think I am always improving. No, no, improving. Improv? I do not under. No, I am asking why you believe your commanding officer needs to like you. Is it not enough to be respected for your professional performance? No. Why not? Well, why do you seek to gain the crew's acceptance? What does that query have to do with this situation? Humor me, New. Knock, knock. No, 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 no. Humor me. Tell me, explain. Oh. It is lonely to be by myself. Exactly. I know that feeling very well. Oh. I had not considered your feelings. I know. Does it bother you when I take steps to ensure that people do not think we are friends? Very much. I apologize. I did not intend to offend you. I know, Nyo. You're young. You have an excuse. Captain Carque, on the other hand, I have tried very hard to get him to like me, and I do not know why I continue to fall short. Well, it might be because you murdered his girlfriend. Murdered his girlfriend, yes, yes, but that was one little incident. I, I have been serving under him for three years. Sometimes one decision can hold great importance. Such as the one you are faced with, since you will soon be relieved of duty on the thrifty. Yes. I know I am not very old, but it is the most difficult choice I have ever had to make. I am sorry, Nyo. Though, if you are leaving anyway, why do you still seek to distance yourself from me in the eyes of our fellow crew persons? I hope to return to the Thrifty someday, if I am allowed to. It is a very special star, Sheep. Yes, it seems to be. Though I may be experiencing bias because it is the only home I have ever known. I have had several homes, but it has been the one where I feel most accepted. Can it not be enough for you, even if Captain Kake never likes you? Uh, I guess it will have to be. Mucker, I thought I told you to go home and knew. What are you doing with him? I am Lieutenant Commander Meow Meow's friend. Okay, but that doesn't explain why Milky White here is still in Buffalo. Captain Kake, 
and I have spent all evening attempting to learn more about you for the purpose of winning your favor. Uh Uh-huh. And how did that go for you? Very poorly. Of course it did. No one in this town knows me anymore. That is the exact conclusion that Lieutenant Commander Meow Meow preached. Yes. Well, I mean, I guess there is one girl who knows me a little better now. Oh, could we please not hear about it? Oh, I thought you wanted me to like you, Mishy Mosh. Oh, I do, sir. Then you should learn to not shut me down when I'm telling a story. Oh. Oh, is that why you do not like me? No, it doesn't even scratch the surface. Then why? That, that right there. You are so whiny, so self-righteous. You act like you deserve everyone's affection, but you don't ever try to earn it. And when you do, you go overboard. I can't imagine anyone liking you unless it's because you're worn them down with your endless sucking up or asking for it. Just be yourself and stop giving a crap whether people like you or not. Hmm. That is a most intriguing idea. Would you like me if I stopped attempting to get your affection? No! I'm never going to like you, Meow Get over it and move on! Hmm. You have given me much to think about. I will return to the thrifty. Meow Meow to thrifty, one to beam her up. That was harsh. Yeah, yeah may- maybe a bit much. Yes. I'm sorry, New, that you had to witness that. That is all right. I am your friend. You may exhibit emotional release in my presence without apology. Thanks. That means a lot. You are welcome. Captain, may I ask you a question? Uh, as long as it's not about Mafgan. Oh, never mind then. Uh, go ahead and ask. Why do you not like Meow Meow? Is it because of the reasons you just said? Mostly. I mean, at first I really thought he was evil. He is objectively not evil. Well, I beg to differ. Uh, okay, honestly, there was a time I almost did start to like him. But then Jane, he he did it so coldly. There's no feeling in those reptilian avian eyes. Meow Meow regrets killing Jane. He does? Then why has he never said that? Has he not? No, he's never said he's sorry. Not really. I mean, he's made excuses, tried to justify, said he regrets my loss, but he's never once expressed remorse for the act. Oh. Yeah, that's that's why I know he's evil. Meow Meow is objectively not evil. I know he has everyone else fooled, but not me. He's surreptitious. They're evil, period. Can't escape his nature. No one can. Do you really believe that? I, I think so. I am sorry, Captain, but you are wrong. Captain's Diary. It's good to be home. Kake out. So this is the tale of our noble crew. They're here for a long, long time. It's Sovereign and Radio R, number 174, Universe Journey number 40, Going Home. Starred Nick Argenbright as Captain Kake, Shane Stefanchik as Lieutenant Commander Meow Meow, Kristen Green as New, Keith Jackson as Malone, Samantha Stark as Laura, and featuring voiceover from Ryan Yowie. It was written and directed by Jerome Wetzel, special guest narrator Kathy Ranella of WCBE 90.5 in Columbus. It's our local NPR station. Kathy is part of Midnight Audio Theater, which airs Fridays at midnight. Uh, You can stream it online at wcbe.org. Sometimes they feature Radio Hour in there. We appreciate it and thank her for doing that. Uh, Jerome Wetzel wrote and directed this episode, and he was also the Foley artist for this Confest show. Our technical director is Shane Stefanchik. Our music director is Kristen Green. Theme songs are composed by Nathan Haley. Story consultant Nick Argenbright. Script editors, Keith Jackson and Shanna Marie Watts. Troop photographer, Michelle Hansen. And the podcast is edited by Chris Allen. Please support us at patreon.com slash IABD and check out our website, including StoryWiki, at itsallbeendoneradiohour.com. Have a great week. Humor me, yo. Knock, knock. (laughs) 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 I like that. No, thank you. Leave that one in. Leave that one in. Then how come is he never said that? Whoa. <laughs> I do not understand. <laughs> I didn't either. <laughs> I was just hoping we'd push through. Uh, he's surreptitious. They're evil. Stop, <laughs> Stop calling me a syrup. <laughs> <laughs> Sweet cheeks. It's All Been Done presents. Who's got the time?